Hey guys, I thought I'd show you a little trick I'd figured out. Like, if you ever had a flat tire on a small tire like this one, and it's an inner tube, then it's on a little red garden trailer. But if you ever had a flat tire on a small tire like that, I'm going to use this old bicycle inner tube as an example. I can't, I, I had already fixed that earlier today. I tried to make a video of it, but my camera was messing up. But, um, you can use super glue and a piece of another inner tube off of an older inner tube. And, like, there's no holes, but I'll make one. Hey, friends, I just made a slit right there. You can see that pretty big gash in it. You can put super glue, like, flatten it out, get it real flat. And you can put super glue like over it, spread it around like evenly, and then put the patch. Of course, you cut the patch to the size it needs, and then place the patch over it and hold it down for however long it takes super glue to dry. And there just went all those birds. There was like a bunch of crows hollering. I don't know if you heard them, but they all took off flying. But um. Just hold it down till the super glue dries, and then after it dries, you wouldn't you'd test it by putting a little bit of air in there. You wouldn't want to put too much, just enough to where it holds air. See if it works. And you can see that's a pretty big slot. And but the trailer, here I'll show you a big trailer. Gashing it. What happened was my tire went flat, and it it had a rim pinched the inner tube and it slid it but that's about how big the slit was in the trailer tire and super glue had fixed it i just spread it over flatten it cut me a piece of patch off this inner tube actually and got it a lot squished on there which you can see this patch ain't big enough for it but if i flip it that way it is and, that, and just make sure it's all spread out or whatever nice and evenly. Uh, I tend to put it a little bit thicker where the crack actually is and then I put it over and then whatever access is flapping off I cut off and like I said fill it up with just a little bit of air until it's like got enough air pressure for it to be completely round you know like an actual inner tube like like fuller tire for example like completely round like that's a second get to where it's able to stand up on its own and then if it's not leaking air then it's good to go ahead and let all the air out and put it back in the tire and then slip it back on the rim and it will hold air and also when you put air in it it'll push that inner tube against the inside of the tire and it'll push that patch against the inside of the tire and it'll help hold it too so it works and it can hold weight too, cause see I can sit on the trailer and the tire like barely moves. But you can tell it goes a little bit. And I weigh 160 pounds, so plus I got my steel toe boots on. And they weigh about they're pretty heavy. They probably about 15 pounds, both of them. Pretty heavy boots. But um, yeah, that's just. I, I figured it out by fixing my bicycle tire before I figured it would probably work and I tried it and believe it or not it did. So maybe that will help y'all with something, one of y'all's tires that y'all need to fix on. I don't think it would work on a car, I doubt it would. It possibly could, like on the inside of the tire once you take it off. Put some, you'd have to put a lot more glue on there, at least two of these little containers, which this one's empty. Probably take about two of those and then a bigger patch, you know. I don't know if it would work or not. I've never tried it. But maybe y'all could if you wanted to. But anyways. I guess I'll get back with you with another one. Try to think of other stuff that actually works. But see you guys.